The government, through the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, determines the winner of the bid for the second phase of the oil and gas working area. The three designated working areas succeeded in attracting investment of up to 14.2 million US dollars. The Minister of Energy and Mineral Resources through the Director General of Oil and Gas determines the winner of the second phase of the 2022 Oil and Gas Working Area direct bid auction for the Bunga, Perimahakam, and Sangkar Working Areas. The Director General of Oil and Gas at the Minister of Energy and Mineral Resources, Tutuka Ariyaji, explained that three working areas managed to attract investment of up to 14.2 million US dollars and a signature bonus of 200,000 US dollars. Tutuka explained that the working area of Bunga is located in East Java Sea with oil and gas potential of 1,300 million barrels equivalent with the winning bidder being the consortium PT Pertamina Hulu Energy and POSCO International Corporation. For the Perimahakam working area, the government received a three-year exploration commitment of up to 7.2 million US dollars and a signature bonus of 50,000 US dollars with the winning consortium of PT Hulu Energy and ENI Indonesia. Limited. And as for the Sangkar working area, PT Saka Exploration Timur won a signature bonus of 50,000 US dollars and a three year exploration commitment of 3 million US dollars. Dengan penetapan pemenang lelang ini, total keseluruhan kolabor pasti tiga tahun pertama masa eksplorasi dari ketika wilayah tersebut adalah 14,2 juta US dollar. Meanwhile, currently the regular auction, namely working area bows, is also still running. The success of the working area bid cannot be separated from the government's effort to increase investor interest, such as improving the forms and main provisions of the cooperation contracts to make them more attractive. From Jakarta, Ade Firmansyah for IDX Channel.